So now that you know what a modulus is and how equivalence works, we can look at actually solving equations modulo m, right? So here we have an equation a, b, and c, and we want to solve for x. Well, we can solve for it by just calculating, by just plugging in the numbers, calculating it mod n, in this case 9, and we see, okay, it's 6, so all solutions here of the form 6 plus n. But let's solve for variables, exactly how we learned it in elementary school. So we want to solve for b. We do that by calculating minus a. And I know you're just as surprised as me, but yeah, that also works modulo n, of course. So now we want to solve for c. How do we do that? Well, minus a, and then we have to divide by b, and now we have solved for c. Well, turns out, here we might run into problems. Because dividing by a number, modulo n, can be quite difficult, or sometimes even impossible. So, for now, let's write this divided by b like this, because this is quite common notation. We will see later why this is common. 